JBM from Mr. Creep Show 9. Now this Saturday, I had a bit of a binge watch, and it was The Adams Family. Now, doing some research on here, well, let's say this. Most people from my generation, born in the 80s, grew up in the 80s and 90s, they would know The Adams Family through this film. And then they rebooted the animated series in the early 90s. But the uh, original Adams Family was a cartoon series. It even predated Batman in terms of comic book series because it was in the New Yorker of all magazines, which is a prestigious magazine or slash, uh, slash newspaper in the United States, came out in 1938. And it was created by a guy named Charles Adams. And it would only be like a one panel type of comic book panel. And But eventually they did it kind of regularly. And eventually in 1964 they created the TV series. I'm not familiar with that. haven't watched that. But it was actually simultaneously with the Munsters. So it wasn't really the Adams Family isn't that derivative off the Munsters. The Adams Family predates the monsters so this is a family they they live in this bubble of macabre surrealism behind their palisade victorian mansion walls they're really ghoulish in the fact that nothing's really supernatural about them they're all real people they're all alive but they just are so morbid and they're naive to the outside world and societal customs but inside their mansion they live off this innumerable wealth so money isn't really an issue and and it's not like they're really ostentatious with their money but the leader of the clan the matriarch or the yes the matriarch actually the patriarch is what i'm going to say gomez adams played by raul julia he's a great character he um is dapper he he's a bit gullible but he has a bunch of great lines this is just jam-packed with grim horror puns and this is what makes it enjoyable for horror fans out there that's why i watched both of them back to back can you believe the first one which came out in 1991 made 191 million dollars and that's really symptomatic of how popular it was in that era. Everyone knew the Adams Family. So they rebooted the cartoon series. They got their own video games adaptations through Super Nintendo. I mean, this is like at the height of Christopher Lloyd coming off of... Coming off of, um... Back to the Future and that fame and all the fame that he got from that. And this was directed by Barry Sonnenfeld, who's worked on a number of films and including the cinematographer for Blood Simple and Misery. And he's the director of the Men in Black series and the RV movie from 2006 with Robin Williams. Anyway, so they really knock it out of the park on here. You, you don't even have to take a scene off. I mean, everything is packed with poisonous jokes and dynamite. And Wednesday, played by Christina Ricci, is phenomenal. Everyone loves her. Every girl who's into horror loves Christina Ricci in this role. There's also sorts of memes out there on the internet of her. And, um, like I I'm not going to really get too much in those little plots of these. In the first one, Fester kind of like is an imposter throughout. And like I said, the people... They're really friendly and gregarious to the outside world, but obviously the people f who are thrust into that situation are aghast by them, and but they don't get it. And so they're really... A lot of people try to take advantage of them outside their world, but... Anyway... Um, and then in the second one, they get sent to summer camp. The kids get sent to summer camp, and then there's a... There's a new family member, the baby, and then Uncle Fester gets deceived by Joan Cusack. Joan Cusack is, like, never hot, except for, like, in this role. It's, like, her only hot role ever. Here's the part of the video game, like I was saying. And then, I don't have a picture of 
Joan Cusack, but anyway, she turns Fester. She totally transforms Fester. She makes she makes him wear a toupee and gives him a complete wardrobe transformation. It's hilarious. And then she gives him like a bomb for their anniversary present, and he like loves it and like comes out and gets blown up. I and mean, they face, they laugh at the face of death so many times. And like I said, the jokes are just endless. And they're not entirely evil. And in this film, it doesn't really play on farcical jokes and like you know, stupid slapstick humor. Like I said, it's shrewd and clever with their jokes. So, um, I pretty much said all I wanted to. I didn't want to get too much into the plots of all these, but definitely highly recommend. If you haven't seen it since you were a kid, definitely go back and watch these films. Great watch. This is JBM from Mr. Creep Show 9. If you've got any comments or requests of upcoming Saturday Night Horror reviews, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to review. I'll be happy to oblige if I'm able to find the film, obviously. Anyway, I'm out. Thanks for watching.